Pope's Eye, or the Annulus, is the uncompleted foundation for an island fort intended to defend the entrance to Port Phillip Bay. It's named after a naval midshipman and located three kilometres east of Queenscliff and five kilometres north of Portsea. This is a dive site in Melbourne that's typically used in the afternoons when divers go out in the mornings, do a deep dive and they come to the sheltered area to do their decompression and have a nice shallow, easy dive. I'm here with our dive instructor Daryl. Daryl's going to take the three of us on a dive very shortly. So Daryl, what are the sort of things we expect to see down there? Hopefully we come across a, a cuttlefish while we're down there, uh, maybe a, a bull ray, uh, you do get rays uh, around here. Um, Nudibranchs, which are little sea slugs, Ooh, yeah. uh, very tiny yeah. and can be difficult to find. Um, uh, the spiny, spiny fins. Are they, uh, they're the ones that come at you and have a little go at you, aren't they? They are, yeah. So you just got to keep your fingers sort of tucked in. They, they will uh, come at you. But we're in a marine conservation park here, aren't we? So we shouldn't be touching things? That's correct, yeah. Because it is a marine park, uh, we're not allowed to uh, touch anything in the park, yeah. take anything from the park, uh, or no fishing or anything like that. So the saying, uh, saying goes, I think, isn't it, take only pictures, but leave only bubbles. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. OK, well, let's gear it up. You're going to give us a dive in brief and we'll get down. I can't and wait to get my head wet. OK, let's go. Uh, so today, we're going to head down onto the dive site and have a look. Um, when we first get into the water, we're going to do a giant stride off the, off the rear of the boat here. So just a nice big step off the boat. Make sure you've got some air in your BCD so you don't uh, sink straight away. And a big OK signal back to the boat. OK. Then we're going to head over to uh, the rocks there. And we'll do send down at that point there. It's around about two metres steps there. And just follow the rocks around. When we get to that, uh, to the point at the end of the rocks, the bottom there slopes, uh, is a gradual slope down. So we're just gonna follow the bottom and use the bottom as a, as a reference point to descend down. Construction began in the 1880s by dumping bluestone boulders on a 12 metre deep submerged sandbank until a horseshoe shaped artificial reef was formed just above the high water level. This blue throat wrasse is the largest wrasse in the bay. It's also known to fishermen as kelpie and winter bream. This pair of yellow striped leather jackets have a yellow stripe along its body with an orange patch towards the tail. They're also called filefish as the skin is covered with small prickly scales giving it a file-like appearance. They also have a series of barbs and spines for protection. The Admiralty Anchor was located in September 2010 in the South Channel during routine inspections following the project to deepen the channel. This Admiralty Anchor was raised and then relocated to Pope's Eye at the depth of around 10 metres on the 19th of November 2010. It creates the ideal opportunity for an undersea photograph. This school of sea sweeps are generally seen around jetties, piers and around shallow rocky areas for which Pope's Eye is a classic location. 
The smaller sea sweeps are disliked by sea fishermen as bait thieves. Scaly fins or spiny fins are highly variable in colour as adults from grey to black or yellow to orange with light bars on the face and a row of light dots along the body. As most members of the damselfish, they aggressively guard their eggs and will readily nip your fingers to protect their babies. Large males turn a darker shade when on guard duty. Moonlighters are often mistaken for the butterfly species, but instead belong to the smaller family of sweepers. The shore's cowfish are members of the boxfish family. Males have spots along their belly, and females have stripes. Boxfish have numerous spines and spikes to avoid becoming food for the larger species. These are old wives. They can be seen in schools, but as here, they're often seen in pairs. They're fairly common in Port Phillip Bay, and particularly at Pope's Eye. The front dorsal fins carry a venom in the spikes of the fin, which can cause severe pain another reason for not touching our marine life. Now it is time to leave for the surface, leaving behind the marvellous undersea world. We're taking only pictures and leaving only bubbles. Well, that's it for our Victoria's Island special, A Day on the Bay. Thank you very much to my co-presenters today, Richard Brown and Lisa Williams. Kaz will be back next week, so we hope that you can join us again for another fantastic adventure. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, fb.me forward slash Vic Islands, and check us out on Twitter, at Vic Islands, all one word. Make sure you visit our website, victoriasislands.tv. That's it for now. Bye.